Despite my travels, the rivers of Scotland and the pursuit of their Atlantic salmon remained closest to my heart. Rivers with names that will bring the dreams of many fly fishers to life, such as the Spey, the Dee and the Tweed. Flowing from high in the mountains through glens, forests and woodlands, the rivers gleam in the sun as they twist and wind their way through some of the most spectacular countryside you can imagine. The winter brings snow and ice to the country and the Scottish rivers falling from the peat-clad hills attain a natural peaty colour. The sight of a fresh silver spring salmon writhing in the dark brown yet still clear water is a sight to behold. Summer in Scotland brings the sun and with it the warmth. The trees and grasses are green and the riverbanks are full and bright with colour. Casting a fly to these magnificent salmon in such glorious surroundings is a task that requires me little encouragement. As summer fades, the facades change from the greens of summer as an autumnal wash of reds and oranges eclipse the landscape. Despite the chill and the darkness of the morning, I rise from my sleep early, without hesitation, even the prospect of a salmon to my fly in such a paradise. Autumn is a wonderful time to be in a Scottish river. It's hard to talk about fly fishing destinations without mentioning the rivers of South America. I've been lucky enough to make the long trip to Tierra del Fuego a few times in my life, and it's without doubt a place that once experienced cannot be forgotten. If there was an instantly recognisable terrain, it must be that of the Rio Grande. The river is embanked with grasslands and spectacular falling dunes that rise high above the river. The wind drives over the desolate plains as the river falls towards the Atlantic Ocean, and the guanacos run free and wild across the tundra. It's simply spectacular. This famous river, pulling from the mountains and glaciers of the Andes, is home to one of the most sought after freshwater fish there can be. The sea trout of the Rio Grande. The striking scenery of the low-lying lands is a fitting backdrop to cast a fly in search of such a wonderful fish. The bright silver sea trout grow to an incredible size, and their appetite for simple flies is unparalleled. After holding your first Rio Grande sea trout, you will know it will not be your last. I have fond memories of snow-capped mountains in Canada, a forest lining the crystal gleam waters of the Skeena, the Bulkley and the Babine. Skating dry flies over obvious nervous water, waiting for the rush of a steelhead to grab my fly. Before succumbing to the net and the sweet taste of success as we release them back to the wilds of the river. For me, British Columbia is the essence of steelhead. The rivers that harbour these special fish are amongst the most beautiful, unspoiled places on earth. When I close my eyes and think of casting a fly, Often scenes from British Columbia can be as clear and defined as if I was actually there. Such as the allure of its ravines, runs and pools. If you enjoyed this presentation, please remember to hit like and subscribe to the channel.